Good morning, folks. Welcome to the first part of the Big Saturday stream. We'll be continuing the Saga 2 remake. That is, by by now, gaming's, in gaming standards, ancient. But the ga the original game is even more ancient. So, it's a, a, a really old remake of a really, really old game. But I'm having a blast with it so far, and I'm, I'm glad that y'all seem to be enjoying it as well. But we're going to be continuing that today. <clears throat> and we're going to be uh, becoming small to go inside of Mother Kai. I think it's I think they call her Mother Kai in this remake. So just Kai. But yeah, we're going to be going small to go inside of her. So we can take the magi, out, magi not magi, relics out of her body. <laughs> uh, just the name changes get me. Before we go through that uh, interesting uh, situation, uh, I'm still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail and get LGBTQ folks out of jail. <laughs> if that sounds like something you'd like to support, I've got a donation button below the stream. I have a donation command, exclamation point donate, and I have a QR code that will be on the bottom of the screen when the stream comes up that you can scan to go to the ship page as well. I don't get any sort of like kickback or I don't know what the right word is. Compensation, I guess, for fundraising for these folks. It's just I like to try to help if I can. Any support one way or the other is greatly appreciated. Oh, goodness. Here we go. I'll let that I'll let this intro play while I finish my breakfast. Mother Kai. I still didn't finish my breakfast. Well, I'll finish the last bit here. We'll load up the game and let some of that banger ass music play. Like, all the musical rearrangements in the remake are really fucking good. Alright, 
Let's see, I, I think I need, was wanting to give um, Bobus here another uh, long sword if we have it somewhere. <clears throat> At some point I will be giving him these uh, Jetta or Geta or whatever because they're uh, a little bit more defense and also more strength but we're trying to uh... Let's go to the little uh, warehouse person because I had them hold on to some long swords and we can start using those while we're kind of just grinding around. <clears throat> I believe we can go in here, and that's where the little the warehouse man is. Yeah, it's this 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 it's this big lad. I'm like nine times nine times I'm sure the star sand was like for a muse. with this moon brooch. Okay. Let's go sell some stuff. There's not anything specifically that we're trying to buy right this second. I think we already have all we already bought all the armor and stuff earlier. Uh, let's see. Sidelong glance, we can sell that. We're keeping the Jetta. We don't need this shield, it's not very good. We don't need that. <clears throat> let's see, we're up to 20 grand. Sinuses are murdering me this morning, so sorry about that. I, I tried to mute it as best as I could. <clears throat> and this stuff is pretty good gear, but it, get it boosts my strength, so I don't want it yet. <clears throat> As far as I'm aware, the higher your stat bonus compared to like how, what part of the game you are with what monsters you're fighting determines like your level growth rate. So I think if you equip stuff like that early on, you kind of you can kind of like un inadvertently like neuter your uh, in, like inadvertently like neuter your character growth rates. Speaking of which, Hale here, blessed be, his little twink body, needs some spirit gains, like, bad, because they're, they're not doing very hot. <clears throat> so we're, we're gonna probably be fighting like, every goddamn fight that even comes close to us, because...
Rhinoceros meat. Mmm, no thank you. I don't know what the next meat we're gonna be eating is. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably just gonna hold on to this uh, s this sprite for a while. <clears throat> Rude. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on. And that's the downside with using uh, those kind of like weapon things. Is that they still use your agility to determine your uh, your accuracy? So um... <laughs> all right, enough of the, enough of this nonsense. Kill it. <clears throat> Good for you, you gain more longsword handle. I still don't know what that really does, but I mean, surely it can't be a bad thing. Thankfully, uh, Hachiko here has a party-wide heal, which is partly, partially why I want to hold on to the sprite for as long as possible, because it's just very good. <clears throat> it's just like unreasonably good for this point in the game. We're killing this fucking thing first. Probably end up going to an end before we stop at before we get to Mother Kai's uh, body anyway. So <clears throat> the robot and monster abilities will recover for basically free anyway. So we might as well make use of them. Plus we have like uh, an overabundance of <laughs> of weapons for Cloudy to use. I think Mavis' uh, damage with the longsword did go up from the handling boost. So that's nice. <clears throat> so I know there was at least one other kind of group in the area that I had seen. It's not exactly what I wanted. But hey, more strength, more strength for the boy. <laughs> that is exactly why I have these uh, long swords from World 1. I mean, at least for a while you can kind of come back and buy more if you need to. But I just got like quite a few of them from like monster drops, so I'm just kind of holding on to them. Yeah, I'm just dr desperately trying to grind up stats for the Esper. So I was under the impression that the uh, spirit growth would be kind of like similar to how humans have their like strength or agility raise. 
But perhaps I was mistaken and it's still just slow too. Okay, so now we're going back to world one. <clears throat> now above all, above basically anything else, we're going to be trying to prioritize um, Hale getting more uh, stat up. So if there's only like one enemy, then you know. I'm so happy for you getting HP <laughs> that you don't. I would say don't need, but going forward, we're gonna need all the stats we can fucking get, so I can't really be upset. I once again just really wish that. Hail hero, just get some spirit ups. God, God damn it. <laughs> I mean, again, I'm not mad. I'm just like annoyed that the Esper's not getting as many skill ups. So I'm fighting as many things as possible. Wow, Hale is very slow. Jaguar, thank you for this delicious meal. <laughs> All right, well, here's the town we're going to be going to to fill our stuff for our characters that need, uh, like, basically ammo refills. Still killed the freaking skeleton. Kind of impressive because skeletons have a resistance to weapons. Again, these uh, long swords are paying dividends because they're extremely cheap, but I'm still just gaining stat ups from them pretty easily, actually.
Oh look, another long sword. <laughs> Just what we needed. Anyway, let's uh, go to this inn here. I don't mind playing paying 12 Kiro. I'm not like that desperate for Kiro. I will go back in here and um, put that long sword away. As you can see, we've been getting a decent amount. I don't think we've even run into anything that can make give us a blind or a curse status yet anyway, but <clears throat> Alright. So we put that away. There's a an event here, it looks like. What's going on? Yo! <laughs> Studying the secrets of life. I wonder how many monster transformations you've registered during your dictionary. What a magnificent mystery of life meat eating is. Oh, do you know it? Are you transformed into a slime and a jaguar? Are they recorded in your meat direct? No way. That's disappointing. Whatever. Sucks to suck. Um, I guess we can look in this store, but I think it only sells uh, sells some curatives, cure tome, and elixirs. And the only thing of note this one sells, I think, are. Uh, well, they sell Blizzard and Thunder Tomes, which are good. But the only thing we really were interested in producing was the submachine gun, because... Yeah, it lets you hit groups, and it's gonna be useful probably at least until World 5 or 6. <clears throat> I'm not... Eh, I was gonna save here, but eh. We're about to get to... We're gonna contend with uh, Kai's body. I have a feeling my RNG is just really, really, really bad with these spirit growths. Cause there's no way it should be this this damn slow. We're just going to fight everything in the history of the world. Really? Did you, did you miss? I wasn't really looking, but did... I have no idea what just happened. I would have expected that thing to die since a jaguar died to a knife slash, so it must have missed. I've got a knife. It's, like, it's pretty certain that they just <laughs> missed with the freaking knife. Creature. It, 
it feels like they made the uh, Esper growth even worse in this game than it was in the, the Game Boy game. I must just be getting really bad luck. <clears throat> anyway, into the body. This is like a... Please let this be a normal field trip. Kai, hang in there. Into Kai's body we go! Don't question it. And we are inside a human body. There's monsters in here. I think it's a mix of like Kai's like cells and like Ashura's like soldiers. So we're gonna be actively destroying her immune system. Yeah, the um. The machine guns are going very helpful for controlling these enemy groups. Because they can do stuff like that. And we don't want them to. We might not want to grind off of groups like this. I get away with using Hale's uh, heal stuff here. Maybe not on Cloud. <laughs> Maybe not. No, your spirit's too bad. Sorry, bud. Uh, how about heal instead? Because <laughs> the way healing spells work is they take uh, the user's spirit and then they take the uh, target's spirit and then some math, math magic happens and then healing. <laughs> Maybe we should kill this one first instead. I think the influenza is just use like poison or something. Yeah. Which if we if we end the battle quickly won't matter. Cause it only does damage like at end of turn. And it doesn't persist after battles, so. Into the, in, I was gonna say into the bowels of the body, but we're literally in in the body. Let's maybe not go to the bowels. Although I think we do have to at least go to the intestines. Uh, let's start with going as far down as possible, I guess. We're probably gonna try to fight as many battles as we can. And once, uh, once Cloudy runs out of uh, moves for wiping out groups, we're probably going to switch to using uh, Hachiko. I'm glad that we're getting some setups from Mavis. Those are nice, especially since I'm using I'm kind of using I'm using up the backlog of the long swords we have. Okay, we took a I I don't know if we took a long, wrong turn at Albuquerque or not, but. Poisonous rain, sun by rain dance. That's great. I think these either have high defense or they're also resistant to, to weapons. Oh no, the slowest character in my party. How could I, how will I ever recover financially from this? Uh, let's just...
And then we'll just finish the group off now with the, the machine gun blast. A lot of money, but not much else. I think we do have to go this way to keep going further into the body. At least this side of the body, there's... Alright, let's see here. Yeah, we're not gonna want to let these groups exist with each other. That'd be a bad idea, so... Yeah, if you don't have crowd control kind of stuff, like group targeting stuff, the battles in here can get pretty nasty pretty quick. Good money, though. And honestly, I'm kind of tempted they could be convinced to go buy another machine gun. <laughs> so that we can stay in here for much longer, but I don't really mind, like, leaving and coming back anyway. It's not that big of a deal. It, it would give me an excuse to try grinding up Hale's stuff some more. Because mm. I don't, just don't know what it is, but it seems like the growths are just really, really bad. I, I know they're not great for, for Espers anyway, but this, whew, this is, like, extra bad. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these battles on fast forward because I mean it's not like we're missing much, they're just using a bunch of poison. Oh nah. <laughs> 69 damage, nice. These influenzas are also weak to fire, so that makes it where hail can actually kill these. Finally! Oh my god, I have not seen that in... It's been 84 years! I think the chances are just really neutered. On top of just being really low in the first place. Okay, so... Honestly, I think the silvers are much less problematic than... Otherwise, I don't know if the battle axe would do more damage than the longsword does points of our longsword handling skill, so. And I don't really mind or care if we have to use up saber uses with with Cloudy, because those will just come back for free anyway. So it's like, mm. we're about to go into a foot, Kai's right foot. I mean, I always thought this this quote unquote dungeon was weird as a kid, but like, it's a little stranger when it's like illustrated as like in 3d <laughs> it's just a little more weird okay these uh golems I, I was i was transported back to like the 90s when stuff might be called gorems <laughs> yeah they're they're uh wood so, um... They are weak to fire. 
so Hale can at least try to kill them. Oh, thanks, Thalia. Don't know why, don't know what caused you to do that, but... Fish! <clears throat> Coconut crab, huh? I don't know what Asterin even does, so I guess let's try it out. <clears throat> the lead three people are probably the ones that get targeted by all the attacks anyway. Oh. Well, that's wonderful. Strength increase, woo! I think Mobus has gotten at least like two or three of those since we got into this fucking dungeon. Um, yeah, 21, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, do we need healing at all? No, we've really not really got taken any damage because the lead two people are just basically immune to most of the damage these enemies can do anyway. Earthworm. Now in the uh, the Game Boy game, the screen was so small you couldn't really see very much of the screen. Uh, oh, these enemies can be. Nah, I think the samurai are be a, a lot less dangerous than these apprentices because these apprentices have, uh, I think, spell books, which are not fun to deal with most of the time. So yeah, we'll, we'll just wipe them out immediately. Yeah, samurais aren't that dangerous in the grand scheme of things. As much fun as it, is, as it would be going through like the entirety of like this place on not fast forward, and we'll, we'll probably turn it off again now. Actually, chop. Like if you're grinding, grinding, yeah, you probably want to have fast forward on so you can just like kind of get get through your life. But we're we're actually doing stuff. Oh yeah, these samurai are like stronger than they um it seems like they're stronger than they were in the Game Boy game, because I don't know. I do remember the the these enemies in this part of the game in the original game being a little stronger than most of the other stuff, but th like it seems like they got a little uh, buffed. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Jesus <laughs> Just level up city for all mobs there. Yeah, in the original Game Boy game, in the in the in the OG, the screen was so small you couldn't see like which paths went where. So finding the relics in that game was a little uh, more tedious. Okay, so we went into the right foot. I was excited for a second. I was like, oh, you got a spirit, you got a spirit level up? No. <laughs> I think Hale is at like 10 whole spirit now. 10 whole spirit. Wow. My cup runneth over, Lord. Oh, slime kind of got a little lost there. And it, it turns out it's a rock, not a slime. What exactly is... I don't know what club... You know, let's use it, sure. Ah, 
Oh. It's basically just poison. It's basically just a poison spell. Well, good to know that's fucking worthless. <laughs> I don't think, um... I don't think poison is a very good status condition in this game anyhow. Just because it doesn't seem like there's much damage. Yeah, there's a lot of... <laughs> the encounter rate in this place isn't very... is pretty high. Got a gun! Lucky for us. Is there even another uh, body part on this side? Because if there's not, I'm probably just gonna leave. Break out of thunder. Six, 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 Caro. <laughs> All right, let's. Yeah, come on. I've been fighting everything up to this point. I might as well keep doing it. Oh, it's just one influenza B. Luckily, you can't miss with fire, and they're weak to it, so they're just dead. Mmm, membrane. Reminds me of, like, the things from Ocarina of Time, that one Ocarina of Time dungeon. Let's go, and I think this is the... It's either the heart or the lungs. Uh, yep, it's the heart. I'm the heart. <laughs> oh geez, that's a that's a big group. Oh goodness. Um hmm. uh, Alright, let's um I think the rhinoceroses might be weak to ice, so Hale might be able to pick off a few of them by a critical hit kind of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I killed. I was able to kill one of them with a. Uh,
was gonna be surprised if that hit, because, yeah, um, Hachiko's spirit is pretty high for this point in the game, so a lot of things have lower spirit, so I think their chances of doing much of anything is just kind of... lower. Nine thunders left. We might need to dip out and come back because yeah, these enemy groups are no joke. Eh, we'll, we'll press on and if it comes to it, we can try to like run away from enemies. Let's see if we can... Oh, well, we're not getting away from those. <laughs> those are fast. And it's just these fucking things again. We will we'll start. We'll start rationing our freaking. Um, we'll start rationing our thunder spells like it's World War Two. gonna have Cloudy just finish the rest of this group off with Saber Strikes. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, like if we can run away from it, we'll probably try to, but like, yeah, this those ghosts are just fast. <laughs> I love the I love the pumpkin headed looking asses of the apprentices though. They're, they're very cute. We'll try a different battle, but I think I think break might be an alternative that we can use to kill off uh, groups as well. Because most enemies aren't at this point in the game are not immune to stone. I don't know if even the stones are immune to stone. <laughs> they might be, but considering they're uh, immune to poison, they might have like O change, which I think is means that they're just immune to, um, status changes. Oh, good god. <laughs> That's quite a few! Um, honestly, I think the rainfall slugs are most dangerous of the bunch, so we're gonna... I might try to break on them see how viable it is. Also do that because that turns uh, the longsword use into a multi-hit attack, which we kind of need at this very point. This is a big battle.
Well, it's good to know that we can use Brick to kind of also be like a group kill kind of thing. I didn't really think of that for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, a, a nice, good old sphincter. I still want to get some fights in, though. Because now that I know that I have, um... What you call it, um... Break to also clear out some enemies. That kind of extends my, um... My ability to kill groups. Although I'll, st I'll still just try to just finish them off with Cloudy if possible, just because... Alright, well one Saber got used up, or my submachine gun got used up. <clears throat> All these battles are giving us like a thousand Kero apiece, which is actually a quite a bit. They've definitely made uh, money a little less stingy in this remake than it was in um, the OG game, because money was a fair bit uh, harder to f come across. Yeah, I think we'll um, do the, the right side of Kai's body, then we'll leave, and then we'll come back. So let's go and grab, go into her arm. I can also just sit here and listen to this, uh, this, um, re this arrangement of the freaking, this song is so good. I gotta drink some coffee and do that. Such a good rearrangement of the song. I can already see where the uh, relic is. Normally, you don't in the in the game game you don't get that luxury. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that's a this is a really pretty song, and the rearrangement of it is ridiculous. Actually, I think they are immune to... They probably will be immune to this, but I am grimly curious on if they are. Yep, I thought so. They do have strong, strong versus change. That's okay, I have thunder. They're not strong to that. Yet. <laughs> Stone drop meat. Mmm. You you if you, you ever heard about getting blood from a stone, how about meat from a stone? 
You know what? Let's just have a fun, massive battle. Because the battles here are already kind of big. A lot of the times. Alright, let's see. Let's murder the robot. Yeah, those, um, those, uh, Threads of Fate things can let you power up moves, which is not something that was in the original game. And it can make some, it, it can help me just grind out a bit more. And I don't know exactly what, but I think they have something that links to the final boss now. Like, maybe there's, like, an extra encounter, like, a harder version of the final boss if you, like, use a certain amount of links, maybe? I don't know. I haven't really looked that far into it, per honestly. Alright, time to... First town's probably closer, and we can have Hale fight some little creatures on the way to try to get some spirit gains. This dagger. I've got a feeling that these, um... <clears throat> This male es Unfortunately, I think male espers are just bad. Like, the... I, th I think the, the girls are better, but... I wanted to have a male esper so I could have Hale in the party. <laughs> because my partner Hale is a fae. <laughs> or at least goes by fae fair. You know. You know how it goes, I think. Oh boy, a punch, my favorite. <clears throat> yeah, the growth rate of Vespers is pretty bad. <clears throat> Like so bad that it might I might actually have to grind off st off stream at some point. <laughs> Completely out of abilities now, but that's fine. Oh, no gains anyway. But yeah, like, the growth rate is just so abysmal. At least, maybe early, later on it'll be better for, like, just even, um, like, even just for the Esper, maybe it'll be better. But right now it's abysmally slow. 
Oh, wow, that's actually a really good uh, treasure to find. Even, like, like that's good no matter where you find it. Alright, Esper abilities and monster abilities and robot weapons are now all restored. Alright, let's see... Probably gonna sell the... Oh, I might keep the Cure Tome because it's just very useful. Like, you could give that to Hale and then have him use that to get some good heals off. Because it's the, the tomes are stronger than the spells are. Uh, strength source, we'll put that away. We'll swap we'll swap it for we'll swap it for a long sword, because we're actually about to use one up. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Right. We're gonna go here just to sell shit. Uh, let's see. We want to sell the Derringer. Sleep Tome, not nearly as useful as the Cure Tome. Drop a save now. <clears throat> and on the way to back to the temple, we'll be trying desperately to have um, Hale get some spirit rate spirit growth from using the dagger. Well, you know what? I'll take that too. <laughs> oh, those are those are pretty rare as well. So you know what? Any sort of growths from hail on the way to back to Kai's body is super welcome. It's pr it's a pr it's a pretty monumentous occasion either way. <laughs> Surprised that I didn't get just a random agility boost for Mobus there because the whips roll damage based off strength, but they can raise agility. Weird, weird weapons, but I can see why they exist so that you can have a strength character that can also raise their agility without having to use just weak agility weapons. Uh, yeah, we'll do the same thing again. Same thing happened. <laughs> later today, later today, like around lunch, I'm gonna go outside and pick dandelions because I want to make some dandelion syrup. Sounds like some like like Disney princess bullshit, but you know, sometimes you gotta be a bit of a Disney princess. Trying to find as many things as possible.
Well, as fun as that was, as fun as it was to have her inhaled again, a, a literal, literally only just an HP boost. Time to go back in. Inside Kai we go. All right, so now let's go to the other side of the body. And we'll, we'll go back to just fighting everything until we kind of start running out of uh, moves. Yep, robot is immune to paralyze, poison, and I think sleep. Alright, and then we'll just use a machine gun blast to finish it off. I did not even see remotely what the enemy group was. Uh, oh, <laughs> a bunch of crabs. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. Tail, tail, whack, whack. <laughs> And then we'll have uh, Cloudy here just polish off the polish off the worm. Oh boy, is that worm? Uh, it's coconut crab. That probably I'd uh, honestly probably want to be the worst flavor profile. <laughs> I know it's a coconut crab because it's like got little coconut shells, but I can imagine that would be like the absolute. Oh god, this is gonna be big. <laughs> Ooh woo. Uh not as nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um We might end up taking some poison damage. Five more years and we'll be done with all these Infalonzas using the same poison move over and over again. Oh, I'm sorry, it's that sand prison. Oh, yay, nice. I will literally just sit here and blast away with just Cloudy on all the rest of these enemies. And we're gonna fast forward through this. I wish it would just not show that still, but it's going. It's gonna. It's gonna. <laughs>
sitting here blasting away, blasting through all the. I'm probably not gonna get any skill ups or anything anyway. Admittedly, the turns get a lot less dense once we get through, <laughs> like, most of these. It takes a lot less time. Finally, we're, we're fucking done. Oh, hey, we did get a stat up. Just not for the person I wanted it for. It's fine. Cry. Weeping myself bitterly to sleep. Never gonna get a spirit boost ever again. Admittedly, it doesn't really help that, um, in the case of healing stuff like that, um, Mobus' spirit is at that base amount. Oh god. Um, no. <laughs> I was like, where'd the enemy go? Let's see. Kill. It's much better than finding like ten influenzas. trying to be extremely frugal with my group hit things whenever possible all right we've made it to Kai's left foot Oh golly, that's a f that's a fair. F I'd rather deal with those probably. Hmm. No, we're gonna submachine because if I do the whole thing where I like just fight one one on one afterwards. It'd be a lot faster to fight three than six. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, those that's why I was worried about these, is because I was worried they'd do a lot of damage, which they probably will. But we can just do this. OP ass fucking fairy.
Hale might be able to kill off a few of these with um, the crit roll from fire. Oh, just killed all of them. Hey. Oh, not all of them, <laughs> just most of them. <clears throat> See, in, in the in the OG game, there was weapons like flame swords or whatever, or if you use them against an enemy that is weak against an element, it had the chance to kind of do a similar thing or like did critical damage and just kind of killed him instantly. Spells originally didn't do that in the original game, so it's cool that they kind of made those kind of things congruent with each other. Good job, you weren't even hurt. <laughs> now you are. Alright, back to the fast, well I'm not going to hit fast forward, but back to the uh, one robot assassination freaking squad. Like if I cared less about my um, longsword usage, and I do, I absolutely could just be using longswords with Mavis to just get more kills in faster time, but... I'm trying to get as much use out of them as I can, even though, I mean, I'm still in World 1. I can just get more. I'm being a fool. Why am I doing this to myself? Well, that's something. Still not another spirit boost. We need those desperately, because like Hale's spirit is already quite a bit behind. That's a whole lot of enemies.
Okay, so based the consensus I'm reading online from 11 years ago is yeah, the espers are just kind of bad. I say as we just get a stat up. <laughs> I was just complaining about stat ups not happening. I'm just like, ah, oh, no! Yeah, I have a feeling a lot of my woes are just RNG, just give me the middle finger. As you would expect in a game with a lot of RNG, sometimes you just don't get the rolls you need. Or want, rather. Anyway, back to, back to body, body exploration. In probably the least interesting way possible. Like, a lot of times, like, haha, I wonder if they export each other's bodies, like, this isn't very, <laughs> this isn't very, um, I don't want to say interesting, but this isn't exactly the same thing. <laughs> I just have fast forward in general. I forgot about that. You know what? It's fine. I'll use another long sword swing. You, I mean, Hale is getting stat ups. They're just not the ones I need Hale to be getting. I need Hale to be getting those spirit ups because. A lot of Hale's damage directly depends on spirit. <laughs> it's just not it's just not going up. I think I've gotten like I think you want I want to say you start with like six spirits. I've gotten four entire spirit boosts so far playing the game. Over like this is stream three. <laughs> so like it's just uh not 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 ideal right now. I need to grab another long sword for uh, Mobus here. Because Mobus is going through those pretty handily and getting a good amount of skill ups out of it. Especially for the price, like you can't really can't really um, go wrong. It's just move. those enemies are just annoying. Okay, I think up here we can go into it. maybe the lungs? No, this is the stomach, this is the stomach intestine. It seemed a little high up for that, so I was wondering if they replaced it with, like, lungs, but no, nope. intestines. So basically, um, last stream we fought Ashura, and he told us that a lot of his, like, soldiers, he used to become small stuff, send them in there to find the magi, the, the relics inside of Kai's body. I don't know how what we're doing versus what he would do would be different when we were, we're also getting the relics instead of... <laughs> we're also grabbing the relics from the side of Kai's body. I don't know how what we're doing is any better, but... Maybe it's a consent thing. Maybe, um... Ooh, that's a good find. Maybe it, it's better because Kai would rather us have them than <laughs> Shura, but... Y you know, it's just one of those things. Gun!
I think my coping strategy of just using a bunch of long swords is not nearly as uh, necessary in this version of the game, since the game just seemingly throws money at you. Let's just see if you can get those like big link battles. Alright, speed crystal. <laughs> you gotta love a good speed crystal. <laughs> um, we actually haven't really looked at those. You can equip relics to uh, people. I think each one gives you a boost of like three to your stats, or they can give you like an, an immunity. I want to say they also increase the um, the power of abilities that are of that element as well. And honestly, you probably should just give this speed crystal to um, Cloudy here just for even more damage. And we can give the lightning one to Hachiko for also more damage. Wacko. Okay, I can imagine they'll also just make... I don't know if the lightning would make, uh, just... I will we'll give you, um... The magic crystal, just for more, um, healing from stuff. And you get, um, ice. Because you have the ice move. I want to see if that helps things. It might, it might not, I don't know. But I've been kind of, like, not using those on purpose. Because, again, I think if your stats are higher, at, like, a certain threshold based off, like, the enemy, like, strength, like, you'll have lo less stat growth, but, like, it doesn't seem like it's going to make much of a cha difference at all for our uh, intrepid, um, Esper that doesn't get stat growth anyway. Um, kind of curious to see what sort of, uh, damage we can get out of, uh, Thunder now. I think, I think, I don't know if the boosted spirit is more of the culprit or the actual Thunder Crystal. <clears throat> but that's definitely higher. Well, look at you, you're getting all the stat ups in the world. Good for you. <clears throat> Again, very good to be getting those. Frankly, we're almost done in this dungeon, I think. We just have to go in the arm and get the, map, the relic from there. This one's a little trickier, they split it up on you. Well, let's see how big of a group this is gonna be. Not as big as I thought, honestly.
All right. Oh, now we got to... <laughs> we, we, we got to go to Kai's brain now. <clears throat> We're probably going to want to save it. I mean, we've got... Look a little different angles. I just... I haven't really paid attention to that, but it's kind of cool. I say we need really need to save like one SMG blast for uh, the the boss, but we've got thunder, so we're probably okay even if we don't. But Perhaps it should give something to give spirit to our uh, robo our robo friend Cloudy here, because speed is great, but like a flame crystal would give a uh, fire immunity plus some spirit. Which would all which that will also just make us uh, healing stuff heal significantly more. Yeah. I mean, it already pretty much full healed anyway, because Cloudy just doesn't take much damage most of the time, unless it's stuff like those slugs. Which I kill with extreme prejudice, like, almost whenever I can. Let me just do a lot of damage. Like, almost regardless of, like, how strong your characters are. I mean, it's I think it's, like, based off... It's, like, spirit damage. <clears throat> great. Well, I mean, it is great, because Mobis has got, like, more HP than anyone else in the party. <laughs> And frankly, Hale's doing a lot better HP-wise than I was expecting, considering the, the growth rates are pretty, um, just terrible. Alright, to the brain! Got to fight these things, because might as well. This is a very grind-heavy game, so if, it, if this does look interesting and you want to play it, just be prepared for a grind, because, yeah, it's a little grindy. And that's fine. Kind of just, like, how it is. Yeah, I think later on, like, when I do lunch, I'm gonna go outside and try to pick as many dandelions as I can. So I can try to make some dandelion syrup. And, um... Kinda want this battle axe gone, honestly, so we'll, if I have any extra turns, I'll probably just try to use it up. So I'm pretty sure in the game we get like an Excalibur kind of sword with infinite durability or something like that that we'd want to have on Mavis anyway, so um, we'll be using swords for the long haul, I think. As far as I know, I haven't gotten that far in this remake, so maybe there's like some new stuff that... Wait, I really, we have 62 grand in World 3 basically. What am I gonna do with all this money? <laughs> I have no idea. I could probably use it to like raise the spirit on um, our 
We'll probably use it to raise the spirit on our um, human while we're trying to grind up other spirit stuff. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of enemies here. Um, I'm gonna kill off the silvers because they have like a paralysis move and two of our people at the very least are not immune to that so there's a chance they would just like body bag pretty pretty hard these crabs just have pincers or whatever which is basically nothing My, my only concern is that by giving them those uh, relics or whatever, that's going to like further neuter the spirit growth, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to get some stat ups and not be as bad. Oh god. Oh, okay, this is a, a free fight basically. I'm still going to just, you know, blast them anyway. These big groups just give a lot of money, like, yeah, this game just gives you a lot more money than the old game does. I think they probably up to, like, each world has, like, a certain, like, money per, uh, per enemy kind of deal. And it really feels like they not only upped that, but when you get, like, lots and lots of enemies, it goes even higher, it feels like. Alright. Some of them sure as dudes are just like, ah, give us the thing! Whoa, Kai's cell is guarding the relic. You. Yeah, these enemies are going to be a pretty nasty time if you give them the chance to do stuff, which I'm giving them the chance to do stuff, and they're mostly just using, trying to use wind up or squeeze to paralyze, which not really going to work. However, the dissolves could have put um, our robot in peril. Oh, wow, I'm just miss. <laughs> oh, some of them did die. This, mu this music is a new arrangement, and it's really good. It, it kind of fits in nicely with, like, between, like, the normal battle music and the, like, boss music from, like, when you're fighting, like, the uh, new gods and such. Oh, we got a hit, and that should finish the fight. No boosts. Eh, whatever. That's fine. If I if, if I knew I was gonna get no boosts, I would have just wiped the, those out immediately with uh, Cloudy and Hachiko. But that's fine. Relic fairy skills obtained. Trap disarming required. Here's the last of them. Let's get back outside. Thank you for saving me, Mabus. What will you do now? We'll go on to the next world to search for relics. I see. Because I am a dedicated priest of the goddess, I am forbidden for showing, from showing certain affections that one would usually show. However, I will stay here and pray that you are able to find your father. Farewell. She has to be a chast maiden or whatever. I don't know. Relig religion's fucking weird. I kind of raise a bit of a stink eye at most of them in general, but some are more um, stink eye than others. <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Espoder. 
You're intruding! Out of our way! Whoa, what's that? Uh, look out! Spiders! <laughs> I'm glad you have over 400 HP now, Mabas. Good for you. Uh-oh. How dare you deprive me of my prey. Ooh, hello. Um... I think you just don't do anything. Struggling is useless, but it seems you understand some... It cut the text off, but she's basically a BDSM pony. <laughs> hmm, quite submissive, yeah. Oh, no. This pleases me. I am Repsyra. This is your reward for being submissive and... ...fightable, I guess. I don't know. Now, to resume the hunt, I'm searching for a feisty one. I'm sure you are. G g good for you. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's, let's leave. Uh, we'll, we'll fight stuff on the way out. Strictly to, with... Let's just say strictly with only hail, but I mean, if it's like got stuff like this, we can still kind of let's try to get some agility boost since that was enemies. Um, we might actually swing back over to um, turn number where I got the psycho dagger. I think it was from rule two actually. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll stop in rule two and grab a few more. Although, honestly, going forward, it might not be super viable for Hale to even hit anything with the damn thing. But I'm pretty sure the hit rate is determined by, uh, you know, agility and so on and so forth or whatever. So we'll use it up and then going forward we'll just blast random stuff with fire or whatever. Try to get those stat ups, because... Oh look, another long sword. Perfect. <laughs> because I don't have like 10,000 of those as it is. I can't even remember what me and my roommate are having for lunch today. I was like, where are all the enemies? There you are. If at some point I have to just kind of grind up some, uh... We might stop in World 2 anyway to buy a, a few whips, because if I'm going to have to be raising my agility, I might as well be doing damage while doing so. So I think we can buy whips in World 2's uh, weapon store at that one town at the vert, like the, near like the the, the, the pillar of the sky, or the sky, whatever they call it in this game. Because in the Game Boy game, it was literally like this kind of like a vine looking thing coming out of the sky. <clears throat> Hello, kites. Good morning. Oh, great. Sleep. Our twink le learned to sleep and forgot uh, poison. This remake is really good. We just finished going through Kai's body. And we're just kind of trying to grind our, uh, our Esper's, uh, spirit up desperately because it's really low because stat gains for Esper's are... <laughs> Not the twink for getting it up. 
Nope, like, Twink is desperately trying to get some spirit gains because they're just not, they've got not gotten very many. Because RNG is a cruel mistress. So we're just trying to, like, kind of... great. Oh, okay. Uh, the first Saga game's a little rougher on the edges. I mean... It was, like, the first game, so yeah, it's a little rough compared to even the second game on the Game Boy. But, I would still say it's a pretty good game. Yeah, if, especially in this game, you also need a monster guide. Especially if you want a good one early like I have, because I have a monster that's from World 7, and I had it in World 2. <laughs> so. <clears throat> There's definitely ways to cheese the game, if you are knowledgeable of doing so. A class they don't have in the first game that they have in this game is uh, the robots, which are just really fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even see what was this. Oh, it's just one, one of these guys. Oh boy, another longsword. It would be a shame if I already had like ten of those I've just been holding on to. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll show the party off. We've got um, Cloudy here, who is a robot. They gain stats based off what they equip, so they gain HP and like primary stats. And so with Sabers, we have a fast robot that is just tanky as shit, so they just usually don't take any damage and just murder things. Then we got our monster. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> um, then we got our monster. This is a uh, sprite. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I can click that. This is a touch screen, so I'm not sure if it'll let us, like, investigate, uh, like, more things. But, yeah, this sprite monster is usually not this good, but it's, this game introduces, like, different, even more monster eating meat mechanics. <laughs> and then we got our human here, and they're good with weapons. And Mobis here just gets stat ups all over the place, if you even just kind of try. <laughs> it's kind of... It's annoying that, like, the Esper gets such low stat gains for Spirit. That Spirit is artificially raised, which probably makes is making things worse. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and we'll just take this off. I'll make a... Homophobic against the Twink. Yeah, the, the, stat, the, the, the stat gains are, um, slow for Espers. I'm hoping it, it picks up later. So I'm just trying to fight everything I can just fight on the way to other places. Plus, hitting stuff with the Psycho Dagger is based off agility, and our, our Hale's um, agility is non-existent, so past this first world, probably not going to be hitting much of anything. So we're just trying to use up... Uh, Use up, get some uses out of it before it's basically useless. <laughs> okay, let's go here and let's climb on it. That's fair. I did this in this game. Well, Mobis is, well, me. Uh, Hachiko is one of my long time, uh, one, one of my longer time friends and has been a, uh, is the leader of a stream team I'm on that has fundraises and just a really a really cool person. Uh, Cloudy is one of my uh, non-binary uh, Android friend streamer friends, and Hale is my partner. <laughs> so I've done a similar thing. I I think there was a Saga One um, remake on like phones or something. It might be hard to track down. FF9 last year, I said, "Oh yeah, I remember. You, I remember you. I remember you saying that." And yeah, just having the silly names for people. You're like, "Oh my goodness." I th yeah, I think it was Wonder Swan. I just couldn't remember exactly which platform it was for. But I know there was a remake. I was like, "Oh, that's so cool." And I was like, "Oh, 
Wonder Swan. <laughs> well, <laughs> never playing that. I could probably emulate it somehow, but eh. I'm gonna make a pit stop off in the desert world. So we can buy some whips. Because <laughs> whips uh, roll damage off strength, but they can give you agility boosts. Echo being renamed to Cream the Rabbit and calling one character Bimbo. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty. That is pretty funny sounding. Uh, let's see. We got anything we need to sell in here? Not really. We want to keep this cure tome, and we'll be keeping this magic source. And the long swords are useful to hold on to. Uh, yeah, we, don't, we want to buy some uh, buy some whips. I guess we'll buy one of these two, and we'll go drop. Go make a pit stop off. What's going on over here? Did I miss? An event with uh, one of the muses. The giants used to live in the nearby world, but not any longer. What? What's the? Is it this guy? Oh, there's an event. All right, I missed something. Even though there's a sandstorm in the desert, we're still going in. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm 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 basically emulating a uh, fan translated uh, patch on the ROM. The, the, art, the art style is really nice though for, especially for the game because it's kind of like accurate to how the original game is, which is kind of like a weird mix of like sci-fi and um, like just you know like old score RPG kind of stuff like swords and whatever. Are you seriously going to the desert? Well, I have a secret for you then. Rumor has it that there is buried treasure in the desert. My suspicion is that it's buried at the spot before the quicksand. Treasure? Let's all work together and find it as proof of our friendship. <laughs> right. <laughs> when we find it, we'll make sure everyone gets a friendly, even split. How friendly. I'm gonna friend you so hard. <laughs> <clears throat> Like, the art style is just really nice, and the designs are even kind of consistent with how they would probably be interpreted based off the Game Boy. There's very little in this that was hasn't been, like, very faithfully, like, translated to 3D. Oh, treasure. And there's, like, new stuff like these treasure bot- oh. Don't mind me. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, that's- Oh, it's over here. We got this this lad. He can store stuff for us. Yeah, I like it when remakes do that. Uh, we can uh, deposit some stuff. Like we're gonna this magic source is gonna be useful later in the game, but not quite yet. Cause these get those give you a flat boost to permanent flat permanent boost to your stuff. But you know, it's better to use those later in the game than earlier. Kind of like with like rare candies and whatever and Pokemon Pokemans. And we're just kind of hoarding all these, like, weaker weapons that we can use to grind up our stats on the cheap. Granted, this game just, like, throws money at you. You don't normally even have close to this much money in the original game when you're at this point. So I'm probably doing this just out of just being being a bo an ancient gamer boomer, basically. <laughs> Cause I have, I think I still have my original cart for the for two and Saga two and Saga three, somewhere, in my in my where I live. Like I'm sure I've got them floating around somewhere, but all right. Just stored some stuff away. At some point we're gonna be doing like. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I played. I think at some point I did have it on Game Boy. But it's been a long time since I've thought about it or really even played it, so I can't really remember. Oh, great, a whip. <laughs> I just put those away. Um, like Equipment-wise, I got this battle axe. I'm probably just gonna get rid of that because um, I, I think it should it should depend on how many enemies you're fighting too. Like, there's like um, there's like more more than like one enemy. Maybe there'd be more money, but. Who even knows? It's such an old game that who they may be, they may, maybe that's just made that way just to be spiteful. 
Yeah, it's very possible that you'll be getting more money out of things before long. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this spear too, since it's like like this game actually gives you more info about like damage multipliers than the old game does. Like, cause if you see the longsword here, your strength times seven is how much damage it does. Like the spear has a times eight. So it's slightly stronger than the long swords, but eh, I'm gonna sell it just because I don't really need it. Because the long swords are what I use to grind up stats, and if I really need damage, I've got the screen dragon blade, which is basically like a, a katana, I guess. They changed a large amount of the names of things in this remake. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of the names are just different now. Not rapier or eye drops, though. I think the cross is probably the same. Let's see, let's sell this battle axe and this spear. Alright. Well, we, we made a quick pit stop in here. I guess there's like some treasure somewhere out in the desert. We can go look for it. I'm not like trying to speedrun this game or anything. So, hmm, I wonder if it's this treasure point over here. Plus, it'd be a good good way to show off some of the enemy styles. And just kind of grind up some stats. Or try to grind up some stats, rather. <laughs> yeah, the, gr the grind is real. Cool thing about monsters and, um... And, um, robots is that their stuff refills for free at when you use an inn. So you can kind of use them just to generate money if you just kind of need money. Or just need to kill off some enemies. Sleep learn instead. <laughs> <laughs> Typical twink shit. Forgetting sleep and then learning sleep again. <laughs> Fucking silly. I love it. Insomnia. Kind of. There's a few spots here. What we got? Windflower bouquet. That's 99% chance a uh, muse gift. Because this remake also added like these like kind of like minor deities that you can curry the favor of to help you in battle. Like this is actually a really, really like in-depth remake. Like just added a bunch of extra shit that they didn't really have to do. They absolutely did not. And it's, it makes it even more of a shame it didn't leave Japan because it's just a comprehensive just like so much, just so much. Alright, we can probably use fire to fit, finish these off. I also got a fan translated patch on the, the remake for Saga 3, but we'll, we'll, we'll play that after we finish this one in this, like, Saturday kind of slot. I don't know if there's any other treasures out here that the start of, um... I don't know if they hid any more treasures out here based off that quest thingy we did. I want to say no, but I, I guess we can just kind of walk around. I am a fan of them doing the, like, world encounters kind of thing, instead of, like, random battles in, in this remake. Uh, what's, what, what's over here? Spy aiming for Lord Ashura snuck into the tower, but was caught. Well, let's see what event this is. I've, I've been not kind of seeing too many of these. Hmm, there's a piece of paper on the ground. It says something about a moon drop, but what could a moon drop be? 
got, you gotta love <laughs> weird localization decisions. Like, oh, we have this awesome game that we people will buy, but we just nah, we're just not gonna release it outside of Japan. <laughs> Let's see what's written. The moon goddess shed a tear of sadness when she learned she lost a friend. That became a treasure we call Moondrop. Eh? Losing a friend? I wonder if it was because of an argument. Still, they were close enough to argue. <laughs> right, that's certainly odd. I'm sure it wasn't because of an argument. Still, it's good, it's good to be able to shed tears for a friend. Right, as a sign of our friendship. Let's see if there's anyone knowledgeable in town that knows anything about this treasure. Subquest. I didn't really plan on uh, on doing random subquest shit, but here we are. That's right. Spill those beans. You're probably not the person you need to talk to. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> them's the brakes of traffic. The fuck is a tra traffic pass? <laughs> Where? What traffic? A special pass that allows access to the whole world. Huh. Alright. Cool, I guess. <laughs> Hello, lizard. Goodbye, lizard. Stun gun, perfect. Well, we're gonna sell some shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's it's really sad when like cool remakes and stuff just get canceled because capitalism is a fucking blight upon this goddamn world. No, we're not selling that. Uh, like, oh, you like cool you like cool things? Well, hope you hope capitalism doesn't happen to it. Spoiler: alert, it probably will. Hello, Mr. Dumpy. How about you hold on to this, uh, these items? I don't know. Oh, we don't really need to become small anymore. Because we're, we're no longer going to be going inside of people. Take it out of context, that could be really, um, suspect. But in the context of the game, we had to go inside of uh, Kai's body, who was like a character from earlier in the game. We had to go inside of her body to remove the relics from there. Because a bad guy was trying to do the same thing, so we, we, we went to go do it instead? Question mark? I don't know why it's better. I mean, I guess it's better we do it because, you know, we're doing it instead of the bad guy, but... You know, it's <laughs> not exactly the most uh, <laughs> foolproof plot, <laughs> but you know, it's it's cool. All right, I don't know if there's any other. Um, and then I guess we can try to finish this little sub quest. I don't know who to talk to in town though. Maybe the item shop person. Maybe there's someone in the item shop. I just missed it. I don't know. Surely they're not like selling the thing. No, they just have like elixirs and stuff. Uh, I guess we're gonna wander around town a little longer. Let's see, we got any people in here that might know about Moon Drop? No, I already talked to you. Oh, maybe it's this person over here after all. It's probably you, huh? Excuse me, I wanna listen a little bit. Ah, what is it? I'd be happy to fill you in if it's something I know about. Do you know anything about the moon drop? We think it's a treasure related to the moon goddess's friendship. We'd like to find out so we can confirm our friendship. <laughs> a treasure related to friendship. How perfect for us. 
Well, I do know something. It's a jewel said to be crystallized here, shed for friendship. As he mentioned, a teacher said he was looking for it. I've heard there's a secret about the moon drop. That by joining it with another special item, something wonderful can be made. I wonder what kind of secret item it could be. Well, where could we find this moon drop? <laughs> well, I've heard that the rogues in Desert Town are searching for it. If you listen to what they have to say, perhaps you'll find something about it. Nevertheless, be careful. They're very bad-tempered people. Okay, pay attention. <laughs> you can tell this is, like, not translated by official sources, because, like, it's just kind of awkward to read. It's, I have a feeling it's probably very literally translated. Maybe by my, like, Google Translate or something. But you know what? I didn't do it, so I'm not going to complain, because I get to play this game and at least kind of understand what's going on. So you know what? Cool. <laughs> that and sometimes people, these fan translations take a very a few some uh, liberties, you could say, in the translation to make things weird. Like the trans, like the translation for the SNES version of Fantasia is uh, can be a little uh, more weird, more not fun than uh, it normally is like like needlessly kind of like cringy <laughs> like, I don't usually don't usually care about cringe shit but like we're talking about like like kind of gross cringe shit not like oh you like Undertale cringe shit do you know anything about the moon drop hey you so you came for my treasure didn't you I'll turn the tables on you warning they are suddenly attacking and stuff like that, it's like, uh-oh. Oh no, dive eagles. We're fighting some birds. Mmm, <laughs> eagle meat. Delicious. <laughs> Fresh, freshly squeezed eagle. Gasp. What strong guys these are. What, we'll remember this. What perplexing behavior. Look, something fell on the ground. Oh, hey, a moon drop. These guys from before, they were rogues. Come to think of it, according to what teachers students said, teachers searching for it. I don't know if that means we have to go back to World 1 and talk to the teacher who is kind of guarding something, but yeah. Yeah, that, that's definitely true. Like, a, like, the sentence structure for Japanese is probably quite different than English, let alone other languages. So direct translations for, like, dialogue don't always really work very well. Granted, with like some context, you can kind of like probably rearrange things to make more sense, but some th you can tell like some of the translation things are very direct, probably. Which is fine, again, I don't mind. I didn't have to like pay any money for this translation or anything. Let alone this game, haha. <laughs> but, you know. You know, I'm not, I'm not really complaining so much as just kind of talking about it, really. Because that's kind of something I should be doing while playing a game, is talking about said game. <laughs> I feel like, but, you know. We are going to go try to go back to, um... Oh, we have a speed-up function. We can do that to kind of get this done really quick, because, I mean, it's just going to be just easy-ass enemies. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see what oh it's just a it's just one robber. I guess it's a guess another opportunity to try using this dagger some more, but <laughs> it was just like like sonic speed, like boost gameplay levels of bullshit with the freaking speed up. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, anything I generally play on my channel, I'm usually pretty passionate about, so I will almost always 
gladly talk about it until my lungs fucking fall off, so... And this is no exception. Like, I played the, the living shit out of this game on Game Boy as, as a kid, so like... I've got a lot of nostalgia and just... I really like the game. Before long, the Psycho Dagger is gonna break and then we'll just be using fire and whatever. I don't know if we need to go back and talk to the teacher for the subquest thing. I don't know if that's even a thing. I'm not really looking at a guide for any of this. Plus, there's not really too much info about this remake anyway. It's a niche remake for a niche game. And um, yeah, there's not much info on the, on, on the net in general. Like, it's hard to find good info. Thankfully, a lot, like, almost all of, like, the meat guides for original games still work in this game. Blizzard, oh, well, that's at least usable. Problem with Espers, though, is, um... Yeah, at least in this game. I can't remember if they function the same way in the original, uh, in Saga 1 on Game Boy, but... They, have four, they can have four abilities, and the ability at the bottom of the list gets is the one that gets replaced every so often. So you keep the three that you want on top, and then the fourth one's kind of just like a filler. I've got fire, like a an AO, a hit all version of Blizzard, and I've got cure because cure. <laughs> it's nice to have cure. And I guess maybe not this stream, but maybe next week's stream, we'll probably be going to World 4, and there is a boss in World 4 that we can probably get any ability in the game from if we fight them, because any strength determines, like, what stuff you can get from battles, ability-wise. Like, every enemy has, like, a different, like, kind of, like, enemy score, in a way. It's kind of weird. <laughs> and Miller, it's a underground finery, and then the announcer in Japanese jumps in shouting, Hey, you delinquent wastes of space. Hey, you bitches and bros and non binary hoes. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Bitches and bros and non binary hoes. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh boy, another longsword. Probably gonna have to start throwing those away or selling them because I have way too many. Like, I'm not gonna probably ever use that many. I say that, but we're gonna have to just go on an intense grind session at some point. Like, maybe even a whole stream of just me just fighting stuff to get stats up for Hale here because, like... Yeah, the, 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 the 10 spirit is gonna be a no-go after a while. Like, it's just not... Granted, as we get further in, I think enemies give you higher chances for stat gains or something, but like... Yeah, at some point we're gonna have to just, just buckle down and grind. Oh, oh my god! It actually happened! A spirit increase! <gasps> See, if you just bitch enough, it'll happen. <laughs> oh, god, where am I going? Yeah, like, they should have fun with it. Like, I like when localization stuff has fun with, like, Dragon Quest is all, like, the weird-ass, like, names and puns and shit, and you can tell they're having fun with it, which is good. They should. Oh, an agility increase from the whip. Another longsword? <laughs> <clears throat> Please, my my inventories can only be so much, so full. One sixty nine, nice. All right, burn, burn in heaven. Yeah, one of these streams, we're probably just gonna have to, like, once we ever get to, like, world five or six, we'll probably just have to just grind the shit out of, just in general. Just for the sake of, for the sake of Hale being more useful in the later parts of the game, because, like, yeah. 
Well, the agility boosts are welcome on Mobus, because um, if you're using weapons, uh, agility determines um, your hit rate, like based off the enemy's agility, I think. So if your agility is low and their agility is not, then you're going to have a hard time hitting with weapons that rely on like a hit rate kind of deal. Some of, some stuff doesn't, like spells like fire or cold wave order just don't. <clears throat> they just don't care about hit rate like that. And stuff like SMG that Cloudy has and some other weapons like that just don't have a hit rate problem whatsoever. And I think eventually the, um, there's a, like, very end game, you can get this, this, uh, sword that does strength dip, does strength damage, but it has infinite uses, unlike most weapons in this game, that have durability, to where, um, I don't know if it has hit rate issues or not, but it'd probably be smart to have some agility anyway. <clears throat> We're just trying really hard to just get as many skill ups on Hale as possible. Even even if they're not like a spirit all the time, at least HP would be nice, cause Yeah. Yeah. Now, at some point, we will be changing Hachiko to a different monster. I just don't know what yet. Or what meat I would be eating. Because, like, meats all have, like, different, like... There's, like, a whole fucking, like, goddamn spreadsheet of, like, meat possibilities and all that. Clematis hair ornament. Well, that seems like a, uh, muse. Oh, wait, what? Well, what? This is not the right... Place. This is not where I thought I, I was, but you know what? It... Alright, bye. <laughs> I was gonna fight that spider, but it's just like, eh, whatever. It, it, it ran somewhere else. Yeah, I, I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of stumbled off into the forest. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind if we're just kind of grinding around and Find the treasure or whatever, cause... Oh boy, more long swords. Well, that's another spear I can sell, I guess, cause I'm not, I'm not gonna really need to use that, per se. Honestly, I should be using Blizzard in case it gets replaced by a different uh, ability. So yeah, I'm going to switch over to using Blizzard instead. Just get more mileage out of our uh, grinding session. Oh, perfect. Sleep, learn, and stage blue. Great. <laughs> like I literally said, it's gonna get replaced by something fucking worthless, and then, well, there we go. It, it, it immediately did. I mean, not necessarily worthless, but not useful for the whole grinding thing I'm trying to do while I'm running around. More HP for the person that already has, like, more HP than anyone else in the party. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had this high of HP on a character this early in the game. Oh, Mava Sears got some, has gotten some pretty... Some pretty lucky, uh... Oh, <laughs> I was trying to speed through that area. Good old, good old RNG. It's like, hmm, you get, you get, you get a lot of stuffs, but you don't. 
cope. Fucking cope. Thankfully, things like speed up exist, because... That can make the whole grinding process of this a lot more stream friendly. Cause yeah, this this game is gonna be a grind. <laughs> well, there's at least something. Again, I'm really just hoping to get some spirit spirit boosts, cause spirit determines how much damage all of the Esper's moves, you know, do. So getting spirit up is very important. Like, at basically any point in the game. As you can see, Mobis is not having any trouble getting any skill ups that I really want. Oh, I guess I did have to come back here for the, with this thing. I was thinking, yeah, maybe, but like, I'm not really using a guide, and it's a fan translation, so who knows if they translated shit right, so it's kind of like a, hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to use the whip some so I can get those agility boosts for later in the game. While we're just kind of in the lower worlds anyway. Give the moon drop. What in blazes? Hmm, this is... It's the moon drop. How did you get this? Your student told us that you were looking for it. It means more to you, so you can have it. What, really? I wouldn't have feel right accepting this. Oh, that's right. The moon drop is a paired item. If you should happen to find its pair, I can make something special items for you. We compute. <laughs> I feel like that, that line was used because I'm the robot character in front most of the time. We find along our travels, we'll bring it to teacher. Otherwise, saying we compute would be really weird for like a normal like just person to say. <laughs> we compute. Yeah, the main reason that the robot's in front is because the robot has high defense and high speed, so they'll get targeted most of the time with attacks, so it just saves our Esper, mostly, the embarrassment of getting just, just beaten the shit out of. Uh, it's... Another stipulation with this game that I think the one, the first game may share, maybe, I can't remember how growths work in there. I think you have to buy like items to boost humans' stats, but I think espers might work the same way as they do in this game, with like HP or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically if you want your humans and espers to gain stats, they have to act in battle. If they don't, they don't have a chance of getting anything, so you have to... Like, for example, I wouldn't have done anything with Mabus there, no stat up, but... <laughs> oh no, another long sword. But since we used a whip, that can boost agility, and we rolled the right numbers, we gained an agility boost. I mean, it's a pretty simple concept, admittedly, but... But it's still something I'm happy to explain, just because, you know, you never know. Somebody's, like, watching and just interested in this game, and I just tell them stuff about the game. Uh, we're going to go probably sell some long swords, because we have way fucking too many. Uh, let's see... I also have a punch, a spear... As you can see, we've been just kind of picking up these long swords. I'll keep another one with me because we are using them. But I've been steadily kind of trying to use them up whenever we're just fighting enemies for grinding purposes. Just because the higher we can get our stats earlier on, the be the easier uh, fights and stuff will just be. Uh, we'll put this cure tome away. We'll we'll swap it for a long sword. <laughs> As you can see, I already have uh, quite a few of them. Most of them are for free, I think.
Admittedly, the, the first, the, the original game did not have this storage guy, so like, if you wanted to hold on to stuff, you only had a certain amount of item space to hold it, and then you're just kind of shit out of luck otherwise. However, there was a there was a very hilarious and fucked up uh, glitch you could do with um, the trash can in the, in the OG game. You could like glitch it to you could use it to like throw away like you could just use it for some really um, strange glitches, like glitching out your like relic count and stuff like that. It's just really funny. Because, like, these games were, like, just so, so glitchy, because it's just Game Boy. You had to kind of just work with what space you had, so sometimes you kind of had to do probably some unideal kind of, uh, things to, um, be able to fit your game inside basically a little fucking saltine cracker, basically. Um, but now that we're done with that, let's kind of push forward with more... Now we're up, we're down to cold waves, so we can just nuke the field. Strong against poison, learn. Oh great, your twink can no longer be poisoned. So if you want that twink obliterated, you can't do it with poison. <laughs> uh. Nice thing about Mobus being faster than Hale is I can have Mobus do his action first, and then Hale can just kind of finish their things off. So it makes the whole grinding thing much easier. I don't think I'm ever going to make an attempt to make Hale's agility any higher, because it really doesn't matter. It really, like, them moving first is never going to fucking happen unless we're, like, in this world. And the, the amount of time and training it would take otherwise to change that would not be worth my time in the slightest. Um, oh. Things look weird because we got it. We, we previously had a move we could use in battle, but then we didn't, so it only shows three abilities now. Oh boy, another long sword. I'm pretty sure it's the same way in Saga 1, but in this game, specifically when you start, you can pick any party combination you, you want. So you can do some really, like, funny, janky playthroughs of, like, Four robots, like just a bunch of monsters that you just kind of feed random meat and stuff like that. Like, there's so much like replay value possible with this game. With well, the original and this, because this has a lot of the same stuff, but just expanded. <clears throat> Plus, this game's art style is just real good. I'm excited. I'm excited to play the, uh, the the Saga 3 remake that I have as well when we get to it. Just because same art style, but like you don't like build your own party. You have like a set party. It's more like a kind of like a like a typical like RPG where oh it happened again. I think, I think Halo has gotten like two spirit bo boosts this stream alone out of like six total in the entire playthrough so far, so yeah, that just shows you how down bad I have been for these spirit boosts, it's just, they're so infrequent. Good thing though is I'm like I'm getting I'm able to more well round the Mobus stats as well while trying to get the spirit up. So the spirit's the only stat that Hale really cares about. So we don't really need to worry about trying to raise. HP just kinda happens on its own most of the time. 
Yeah, that's the saga, saga three has established characters that are like part of like an you know the plot or whatever. But these ones are just kind of like fill the blank characters, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's kind of how like Dragon Quest nine has kind of a similar thing where you kind of choose your own party. And they're part of the story, but they're not like specifically, oh, this is Bob the Builder. As opposed to, this is a human that you picked. <laughs> it just so happens to be able to fit in the story. I don't I, I don't mind one approach or the other. It's just kind of interesting when franchises do it with different games. Like Dragon Quest especially, because a lot of their stuff is strictly um set parties, like with Dragon Quest like 11 and like 8. I'm guessing 7... I'm guessing 7 is as well. I haven't played 7. That might be one I... That might be one I play at some point, but the next Dragon Quest game I'm playing on stream is gonna be Builders 2. Because I played the first Builders like years ago on my roommate's PlayStation that she used to have. But I never got around to playing the second one, so I, I could use that. I could, I'm gonna be playing that after I finish uh, tre my playthrough of Treasures, which has been a really fun game. But the appeal is starting to wear off a little bit, because <laughs> there's always so much different things you do in the game, and after you've kind of done it for a while, like a few weeks, you're just kind of like, hmm, I think I'm, I think I've had enough. Not that it's bad, but it's just like you kind of get your fill of a certain kind of thing, and then you're just like, hmm, let's do something else. But I want to finish the game, because it's a very it's a very charming game. So I want to at the very least finish. Oh great, you forgot poison and you forgot, you forgot how to be strong against poison, and you learned how to be strong against poison. <laughs> yeah, they 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 need after they finish the Dragon Quest 3 remake thing that they're eventually finishing I think um, they need to do a port on like PC and like switch or whatever of Dragon Quest 9 I would I... <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say I would be very happy <laughs> I was gonna say something very hyperbolic hyperbol hyperbolic whatever words I was gonna say some extreme hyperbole that reflects my uh, interest in Dragon Quest IX because that's the one that got me back into Dragon Quest after uh, like years and years of just not doing anything with it. Like I saw it at like Walmart or whatever, like near Asda or whatever, basically kind of deal. I saw it there, like in 2008 or 2009 or so. I was like, oh, Dragon Quest, I remember that. I wonder if this is any good. And then I played the literal bejesus out of it for years. <laughs> I mean, I've done a I've done a playthrough of it on my on on uh, stream up. Oh, well, I guess we're dealing with this. It's kind of annoying. Whatever. We're about to go to the end, so I can just kind of mow down these enemies anyway. Yeah, it'd be super cool to have a remake of that because there's like it's it'd be so good. I do like how in uh, tr Treasures the 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 Starflight Express music is the train music <laughs> in in um, Treasures. It, it made me it makes me feel really happy hearing that every single time I use the train. It fills me with good serotonin. Well, that was fun. Um, or I guess you could say Sarah training, because <laughs> it's about trains. Fuck sakes. Um, do we need to put anything else away? I think this little store man guy is like in every single inn, basically. Uh, let's look at our item list. Too many long swords. What else is new? Uh, we're gonna do that so I can know which ones I can just sell, because 
we're gonna, I have this long sword and this whip that we're gonna be holding on to for when um, they run out on Mobis, which one of the whips is about to expire, so we'll be equipping the one that's in our bag. <clears throat> Just been getting uses out of it, getting some agility. What's, what's agility looking like now, anyway? I haven't really been looking at it. Um, 16. Oh, that's not bad. I think it was previously like 11, so we've gotten a nice boost from just kind of getting through this area. Alright, so we're going to head off to World 4 now. I don't think there's anything else we really care to do. It's fucking Jaguars on my ass. Uh, unless there's like something that's like for... Um, by the half horse, half woman. Oh, uh, these are the, um... Oh, uh, these were the muse things, I think. Yeah, we went to Kai's body. And now we're going to World 4. <clears throat> and see what shenanigans are happening there. We'll just continue to just blast through enemies on the way there, because we might as well try to get more stat ups for our two characters that can use them. Especially Hale. They don't really even have to try that hard to get stat ups on the hero. Uh, the hero. Technically, the main character is um, the Mobus, the human boy, male, whatever. It just made sense because, like, your the, your main character's dad's like this Indiana Jones looking fucker, and it'd be a little odd to have like a monster or a robot. But it, like, even if you pick those, <laughs> the, the the other like. NPCs don't change, so it's just kind of funny how like your dad, you're like a robot, but your dad's like your your dad's a human and your mom's a human, so you're, I guess you're adopted. Oh, great, a long sword. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, that's fine. It's just kind of funny to me. All right, do nothing and fire. Oh, hey, you know what? I'll take it. It's not the boot stat up I was looking for, but it is a stat up, so I will take it. Conversely, sometimes I have problems with uh, Espers having really low HP. Like, they just don't get HP boosts, which is problematic for being, you know, alive. Yeah, you, you, Blizzard learn, poison forgotten. Uh, yeah, you're, um... Your character, the, the main character's dad's always a human guy, and the mom's always, you know, a human mom. So it's just like, where'd this robot come from? <laughs> who, bir who birthed this robot? Is it, are they adopted? Probably. Oh look, more agility, which is fine by me. Just make, gonna make hitting enemies with um, swords and stuff just easier, I guess. Okay, and then we go up to the pillar of the sky. I just showed a little cutscene when you first use this in this world, where like you're going up and you can physically see other worlds. So. Like, this is just kind of like in the sky, and you kind of go to other parts of the world, I guess. So we, these worlds aren't like separate like universes, they're just kind of like different parts of the same world, I think. The semantic, the, just, it, it's just weird, but you know, it's fine. This is, the plot is early JRPG plot, you can't really be too picky with how 
it's uh, told because you'll, um, yeah. I think we can go this way now because that leads us down to world three. So now we can go through this connecting door. We have enough relics. And we can go this way. And so far, all of, like the rearrangements of all the tracks are just amazing. Like they're really faithful to the original, but they have just a, a new bit of spice to them that just makes them really good. All right, we are in World Four. Let's see what sort of critters we find on the way to where we're going. I don't. Okay, we got a slime enemy. What we got? A big eyeball. Oh boy. Oh, that looks unsettling. Perfect. Um, for the sake of just killing it, we'll have the robot do things. It pro it'll probably die. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Big eyeball has dropped meat. Mmm, eyeball meat. My favorite. It's my favorite cut of meat. Just eyeball. <laughs> Not like not like a big slab of eyeball. <laughs> That's uh and then we got a griffin, okay. Again, it'd probably just die immediately, so we'll try to have uh these two get some some licks in and actually Yeah, cause they're not gonna do a damage so anyway that way. I have a feeling just like earlier in the stream that kill would not have been possible with those two doing the damage they did because Kai's body got us a good amount of stat ups in general most of them being with our our friend um, Mobus there Okay, maybe this is finally the turnaround point for the spirit gains, because that seemed awfully um, soon to have another spirit gain. <laughs> I also have these map things that they added to this remake where you can just find these chests really good. It's like extra loot, or just like, well, I mean, it's eye drops, it's not super impactful. But anyway, if you're blind and you're just kind of wandering around and you need an eye drop, well, now you have an eye drop. You can also use these threads of fate things to make more powerful attacks. That also skips enemy turns, kind of like, because if you do the threads of fate thing, they'll do their attacks right after, so you can use it to kind of cheese some enemies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any coffee left? Oh, a little bit. Apollo's Temple. Oh boy. Let's go see if, is this Apollo's temple? I mean, it's a little temple. A little unassuming, but. Ah, oh, this music's so good. I love this. Reports of Ashura's defeat at your hand have reached even this world. Well, damn, we're, we're already a celebrity. We already fought and killed a god. What's well, a few more? <laughs> <clears throat> Dizzard. Lord Apollo is a truly benevolent god. He doesn't care for power or evil ambitions like ruling the world. Surely not. No, he's just a good guy. Right? <laughs> I mean... If you know these old JRPGs, you know the whole, like, fight god thing is very strong. In, like, every single one of them, it seems like. So, in this game, it's no different. <clears throat> or Apollo has been expecting you. Please, go inside. I think we do have to come just talk to Apollo in general before we can really do much in this world anyway, so. Let's go see him. There he is. I welcome the heroes who defeated Ashura and sh saved the world. I'd like to extend my gratitude. 
Solar torch obtained. Minimap functions extended. Why give this to us? I already have enough power. I have no need for power greater than this. I understand there are several relics in my world. I suspect they're hidden in locations found by solving this riddle. Some lie where the wind blows within the earth. Some lie where the fire burns within water. Some lie where the darkness falls within the light. I wonder, will you be able to solve this riddle? I wish you luck. Yep. <clears throat> there are a lot of kind of like somewhat hyper, some kind of like I don't know, I don't know if hyper, no hyper, hyper, hyperbole is not the right word. Uh, like kind of like weird, like unsuitable locations for certain things, like like an underwater volcano has fire in it and that kind of deal. We got an ik, but I don't know what that word even is. Let's see, an ik. We gay. I'm not gonna try saying that. It's a horse. <laughs> it's a water horse. And the original game, these are probably called Kelpie or something like that. It was like a uh, JRPG. Sure do love killing gods. Strength increase. Nice. <clears throat> Let's go dig up whatever this is. I, for one, welcome our, uh, god-killing overlords. Ooh, magic power circuit. Nice. That is something you can give to a robot to have them gain spirit. In the original game, there was no way for robots to have spirit whatsoever, so they took heavy damage from spells and reduced healing, that kind of stuff, so. But in this game, in this remake, they made it to where you can kind of do more with your robots, which is cool. You could have a spell-casting robot, basically. I give him like a, a, a spell book of like flare or something and just go blasting. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> I'm just trying to do as many fights as possible. Got a little town over here. If I see it, I'm gonna go after it. <laughs> More strength boost, yay! Still using just 400 gold long swords, <laughs> like the like the olden days. Old habits die hard, because the original game did not give you nearly as much money, like from all your like I have a feeling they boosted this the money per enemy gain and you know that kind of stuff it feels like they did because I've got a lot more money than you usually have and it's like eh, it's fine <clears throat> What's over here? Diggy diggy hole! <laughs> More eye drops, great, I'm, I'm so happy. Let's pop into this town and see what they have at the stores. Maybe specifically the weapon store. It's kind of our our interest here. Let's see. Poison Tome, Rocket Punch, Sleep Tome, Secret Tome, Triple Lunge, Cross Counter, 
Chainsaw. Fire Totem. Okay, this. I don't think this is. I don't think this is the town with good weapons and maybe not good armor either. But we'll check out the uh, item store. That's where they sell armor usually. Oh, hello. You look pretty. You're a muse, aren't you? Welcome. Is there something you'd be looking for? Hey, Miss Leo, you should take it easy, okay? Yes, sir. Please, take your time shopping. Yeah, you can tell she's just, like not like a normal character just by, the look, by her look. What's that? Oh, that girl just now? That's Miss Leo. She's working here for me. She's working to give a present to her parents back home. She's such a sweet girl and beautiful, too. My good customer. While you're visiting with Miss Leo, why not purchase some goods? Well, I was gonna buy stuff anyway. You don't need to. You don't need to tempt me. Uh, Mithril helm. Okay, let's sell some stuff first. We got uh, just a bunch of garbage. Like we don't need that or that. Like way too many long swords for our own good. Just take up a bunch of inventory space. Let's see. We need at least two of these. If I'm not mistaken, our robot's already full of mithril gloves, so... Yeah, the mithril gloves have the same defense as the other mithril pieces for robots, so it's usually your best bet just buy a bunch of gloves for your robot. <clears throat> Let's see, the mithril helm here. Let's see, that'd be a... That's a four boost. That's pretty good for the price. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll sell... See what else we got. With our helm, acceleration device. Huh. Um. I wonder if that'd be something useful to give to our robot to make everyone else faster. I, I'm willing to try it. We got so much money anyway. Like, let's look at our robot stuff. I, I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know if that would increase everyone's agility or just the robot's agility, but... I'm willing to at least try it out for a battle or two, just to see what it does. Burb, alright. I'll be here for at least a little bit longer. Let's see... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what the acceler acceleration device does, because I think there's an item similar to that in the original game, but I just never dealt with it much. Legends say that a man who fell in love with a mermaid walked straight into the sea and has never returned. God damn. Mermaids exist? <laughs> if there really is a mermaid, let's become friends with her. That's right, although I don't know whether there's a mermaid. If we search, perhaps we'll learn something. Well then, let's go search under the sea. Agreed. Let's see. Oh, that one person isn't in where I was thinking they would be. The man who fell in love with a mermaid went into the sea from the peninsula south of this town. <clears throat> I am a scholar. The so-called legend of the dragon god is idiotic. It's definitely an undersea volcano. That said, in order to prove it doesn't exist, could you go check under the sea for me? Dragon god. I wonder if he'll become friends with us. <laughs> they're all, they're like all friend-pilled. If we talk to it, we can surely get it to understand. What are we waiting for? Let's go search for the Dragon God. Okay, let's go make a friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, that's too good. thick a cook -a. Dude's thick as fucking peanut butter over there. Give me a sec, I'm gonna check up on my roommates, see what time that they want to do lunch.
All right. I checked with my roommate, and we're gonna be doing lunch at 11 like we normally do, so we're gonna do some quick stuff to finish off the stream. Like, we're gonna go to the other town and look at the item store. Cause I'm pretty sure there's some decent stuff we can buy from there that we could upgrade our people to. Probably especially the robot. I think there might be a new kind of like weapon like the SMG that we can buy that's better. <clears throat> Silver, be Silver Bell Choker. That's cute. Give that to a puppy girl on Twitter. <clears throat> anyway, um, le let's, ah, okay, that, I think, I know what that place is. This town is slightly plot related, at the very least. High potion, there. Thing that the one lady might be in here that plays the the guitar. Oh, yep, here she is. Wow, everyone! Thanks to you, I've completed a good tune. Make sure you go and listen. the Japanese string instruments are so good. Thank you for listening to my music. Oh dear, I, I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Arado, one of the one of the muses. I have been blessed with good company and soon I shall return home. This is my reward for listening to me. Well then, it would be nice to meet again. <clears throat> What's up, Skeleton? That scholar, he says there's no such thing as the Mountain God. I'm absolutely sure he's wrong. The other day I got lost in a dungeon where I could only see pure white. I didn't think I'd ever get out, but somehow I made it. I'm a scholar. There's no such thing as the mountain god. It's just the sound of wind going through the cave. Welcome, 10 Kara for a drink. Sure. Oh? You resemble Lin's father. Are you a relative? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Dig. Flower fan, alright. Let's see what weapons I got, because I'm pretty sure these are weapons from... Let's see, triple on fire tom, a shock whip, which is a much stronger, uh, whip. A, a gun. A manual loaded gun, a precursor to the musket. This is the first portable style rifle ma manufactured in the world. Mythical swords is pretty good, strong. A lightsaber. <laughs> We're probably gonna upgrade our robots to some lightsabers. I think we get one for free later, but we'll buy one now. Well, I think we'll buy a, one of those as well. to give to Mobbis for boss fights. <clears throat> and honestly, I think on that note, we'll probably start using um, the Green Dragon Blade. Just as training stuff, once our longsword breaks, we'll probably start trying to get through that. I mean, we could probably just sell it for some money. Yeah, we'll probably just sell for some money, and I'll just swap in another long sword for that. Cause, I mean, I haven't even used it, and I'm probably not going to, because it's just not quite as good as um, it's not. It's it's kind of like a middling weapon. It's like times nine, which is fine, but like we now have a sword that's times eleven with strength, so. I was thinking they sold uh, grenades here that we could give it to the ro our robot to further increase HP and damage to groups. 
but they might have taken that out and put it somewhere else or later in the game. Right, lightsaber is seven more agility. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's look at the weapon store one more time real quick. Just be sure. Triple lunge, which is tech. Not very good, but they can... The, the last few hits of the uh, Taijutsu moves are very strong. Uh, cross counter, which when you take damage, you return to times five. Chainsaw, I think based on your strength, can uh, insta-kill enemies. But if your strength's not high enough, it does nothing, and sometimes it just misses anyway. Fire Tome's good. Shock Whip, we might end up buying some of those at some point, maybe. But we're still fine using other our whips and stuff. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna just sell those potions off. They're not really we're not gonna we're not using them in the slightest, so we might as well. And then let's check out the item store. I don't know if they have other armor here that they didn't have at the other town. They might. No, it's just one of these stores that sells like elixir, cure tome, staff of healing. These staffs are pretty much essential at the end of the game, but and at the end of the game, you kind of have to just kind of grind money for them. But with see how much money we have just from like going around and grinding a bit ourselves, it's probably gonna be fine at that point. But we're gonna go store some stuff and then save, and then this stream will be over, and then later. I'll be coming back with some RimWorld probably around like noon or one or so. Uh, let's see. Silver Bell Choker. Let's put that away. Our, our inventory thing is getting full of all these Muse gifts. I might have to try to look up what goes where with what. So yeah, we also have another Magic Power Circuit. Alright. We'll, we'll take a little stop in to the inn. If I can if I know where doors are, if I know what doors if I know what doors are. Lost a little bit of Caro because I didn't bother to heal, but yeah, it's fine. It's not like we're shy on Caro anyway. Alright. Okie dokie, we'll just make sure I'm saved. Something else I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do in case, um, yeah, uh, we're uh, making saving a state as well because I cannot be bothered to have my progress wiped somehow. I would stop playing. It's pro that might be what happened last time. Honestly, I won't be surprised. But yeah, that is the first stream of today. Thank you all, everybody that came by. Whether you're active in chat or not, I appreciate lurkers all the same because y'all are important too. Especially if you're just like relaxing and hanging out while watching me, that's honestly almost even more of a just a appreciation thing. This is like, yeah, that's just really nice, and I appreciate people that do that as well. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna be in in the stream. Let me see if I can raid someone real fast. Let's see, anyone live? I care to raid. Let's see. Mm, not really. Not really. So, no, no raid for this first stream. But I'm sure later on tonight there'll be people um, going that I'll be happy to raid into. But for now, that's gonna be where our stream ends, and I'll see y'all later, like noon or like twelve thirty or so, with some Rimworld. See you then.